Hey guys, so welcome back to my channel. If it's your favorite Swana girl, I'm pump shit. And if you are new, hey sis, what is good? Don't forget to like, subscribe, and comment. And if you're a returning subscriber, thank you, thank you so much for constantly watching my content. I am super grateful. So on today's video, I'm gonna show you guys how I achieve the most beautiful curls using the Tony and Guy curling wand. I recently just got this um, at Clicks. It was retailing for 400 rand, but I got it on sale because I am the sale queen and I got it for 95 rand, which is <laughs> a bargain, girl. I've been wanting it for the longest time, but I did not want to spend 400 rand on it. And I'm just lucky that I was able to get it on sale. So with that out of the way, let's get started. Okay guys, so I'm just gonna start by combing the hair out a little bit. If you want details on this hair, I got this hair I think two years back and it was in the inches, 30, uh, it was 34 inches, three bundles and a 20 inch closure and I got it from Divine Hair. So you can follow Divine Hair on Facebook and you will find gorgeous, gorgeous hair. They have really good quality hair and at a bargain like oh my gosh i don't want to say they're cheap but they aren't expensive either for the quality you know what i mean if you want good quality here you need to be able to spend some coins sis because this is an investment and i feel like the older the hair gets the more beautiful and thicker it has become so we're just gonna take our curling one gonna take our hair gonna just roll it back in a backward motion as you can see and we're just going to hold it and then in the hopes that you're gonna just release the curl oh okay 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 it's funny I've never curled this hair before using a curling wand so if I fail it is on camera and so is everything else that I do <laughs> you know I'm not scared of failure and I think by now you have gathered that much and if you did not know now you know so yes guys we're just gonna keep repeating the same motion backwards and rolling it around I'm just scared that it's gonna take forever because this hair is so long but yeah it's Friday today and what are you guys up to hey how are you guys feeling about the peak and the level of anxiety is everyone doing okay for all those who are losing loved ones I am so so sorry you know what, this epidemic is whew, it's just something else, you know. Sometimes you, you just wish that you could go to bed and wake up and find that all of this was just a bad dream. But this is also our new reality. We need to just start making, or rather start coming to terms with everything. Okay guys, so I'm going to still use the same motion. Hold it for a little bit. Then just let it go. Ooh, these are looking so pretty, guys. Can you see that? Can you see that? They look like little worms, but they are. Okay. For me, personally, this week has been hmm, quite interesting, to say the least. This week has been extremely, extremely interesting. You know what I think quarantine has, being in quarantine has taught me? It has taught me that whatever demons you had and you were too busy to face, you're going to start facing them now because we all have all this time. And whatever it is that you were avoiding to do or avoiding to feel, 
now that you are home and you're not busy and there's no place to run to you were just forced to deal with all of those feelings and for me that's exactly what has been happening this whole week um, I remember I uploaded on Wednesday and I did not come back like I usually do I'm, I, I, like, I love to engage with people especially when they start commenting and I just love promoting my, my videos on, on Facebook and on Instagram mm. and all the social media platforms but for this week ooh, I was down in the gutter I was down in the gutter because there were so many things that were happening and I was feeling so conflicted by all of it and I feel like instead of choosing to face it I I chose to just keep quiet and to just go back into my hole you know where I feel safe and with people who I know I'm safe around you know because um, right now I'm questioning a lot of people's roles in my life i guess you know i'm questioning where i stand with them and where they stand with me but also i am questioning a lot of friendships you know so that's why i'm saying i'm in a very weird state of mind okay we're just gonna keep holding it and then release it i'm in a very weird state of mind but i don't want to dwell too much on it because at the end of the day when i started this channel it, it was because i just purely wanted to have fun with it it was not personal it was not manly like it wasn't because i wanted to just make money or it, it wasn't just the business venture, but it was something that I honestly looked forward to. I look forward to sitting down and making all my videos. And yes, I'm not perfect yet, but I look, I, I just love watching different YouTube on um, videos on how to make content and how to engage with your audience and all of that. I, that's just one of the things I just loved about having YouTube. So... And for all those who did not know, me putting myself out there, especially for example with my first video, it was something that is very personal to me. And there have been people who have tried to use it against me, but because I have put myself out there, I can't now go hide in, in a hole and act like, I'm scared of the things that people are saying about me. I'm not phased. Quite honestly, I'm not phased by any of it. And I expected all of it. You know, but at the end of the day, I keep saying I am a moving train. And that's just my truth. I'm moving train. I'm just constantly moving forward with my life. And I'm constantly meeting new people. And I feel like when I start meeting new people, it just means there no longer is room for other people who might have been in my past life. You know? So yeah, guys, look at that. It's looking so pretty. It's looking so pretty. Okay. Just gonna keep doing the same thing. So the, the conversation that I needed to have with myself was just to remind myself why I was doing this in the first place. You know, why I started uploading in the first place and how I choose to go about certain things now, you know. But I think there's a saying that says hurt people hurt other people and for me that's how I just see a lot of things you 
when there are certain things that you have not dealt with, you will always feel like the other person is a problem. It's always so much easier to deal with someone else's demons than to deal with your own. And that's just the reality of how I feel about everything. You know? So people deflect from their own issues. And they start talking about other people in order to make themselves feel better about themselves. But, honey, we are a moving train. And... You were looking for us in the wrong place because we don't live there no more. We don't live in our past. We don't live in our past and we are just focusing on the future right now. And we're dealing with a serious epidemic. We are not going to be dealing with hearsay. You know? We're not going to be dealing with hearsay. So I'm just going to take some Ultimate Holding Spray from Perfect Touch and I'm just going to spray a little on my hair, not too close. Shake, shake. This is so that it holds the curls down so that they at least last a day or two or three, hopefully. And I'm just going to take some Sacrum Hair Sacrum from Care. If you know me, you know this is my favorite hair, like brand-wise for hair care love it so i'm just gonna take some and i'm just gonna put some on my hair oh look at those curls baby okay so i'm just gonna take my fingers i'm gonna just softly brush through them just so that to loosen them up a little bit not too much just a little bit oh guys look at that look at that also on this other side, I didn't curl this side too well, but yeah, look at that guys, look at these curls honey, look at these curls, they are so pretty. Hmm? How pretty are these guys? So yeah, that's the end of the video, guys. I hope you really enjoyed it. And do take into mind what I said. The internet is a place where you can grow, where you can laugh, where we can engage. But it's also a place where a lot of people lose themselves in terms of self-esteem, in terms of, in terms of self-worth. So be careful with your words. Be careful about what you say. And because other people aren't as strong, you know, so let's not be a reason why someone else feels very small especially on social media okay so i'll see you guys on my next video and thank you for the support mwah, mwah, mwah.